Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine our lives. Tonight we have gathered for a service of scripture and prayer, a moment of quiet, a moment of stillness, a moment of Sabbath in the midst of our busy lives. Tonight we will hear two passages, the first from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34, the second from John chapter 15, verses 9 through 12. I pray tonight that you feel the Spirit's presence surrounding you, that the peace of Christ fills you, and that God's unconditional love wraps warmly around you. So friends, Get comfortable. Breathe deep. I'm so glad you're here. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us amend what we are and direct what we shall be, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your lifespan? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need the, all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today.
John chapter 15, verses 9 through 12. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Let us pray. As you have made this day, O God, you also make the night. Give light for our comfort. Come upon us with quietness and still our souls, that we may listen for the whisper of your Spirit and be attentive to your nearness in our dreams. Empower us to rise again in new life and show Christ to the world allowing his care, compassion, and love to flow through us in all we say and do. Amen. Friends, tonight may you go in peace, remembering that they will know us by our love, not by our fear, not by our apprehension, not by our worry, they will know us by our love, and that love helps make our joy complete. Amen. Mm -hmm.